Hi everybody, this is Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everybody's fabulous tonight. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to throw down cards for Scorpio tonight. For the first half of April reading. I know I'm a little behind, I'm sorry. All the chaos and craziness going on in the world right now. Pretty drained, but doing what I believe I was sent here to do and I'm trying to spread love and light and hope and positive energy and in times like this it's extremely difficult but I'm doing my best enough about that happy jazz nobody wants to hear about that it's all over the place right now let's spread some love and light shall we this reading will be for Scorpio with Sun Moon Rising Venus if it resonates with you cool it's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. And if it doesn't resonate, which it might not, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Scorpio. Forget you saw it. Just look the other way or check your moon rising or Venus sign readings because sometimes those resonate better than your sun sign, believe it or not. I'm not going to twist your arm. It's your journey. Just remember, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you're a cross watcher stopping by, peeking in on Scorpio, you're welcome here too. Have a seat. I just made some fresh coffee at like 10 o'clock at night. So, anyway, Scorpio, my neighbors in the zodiac. Let's throw it on the cards. I'm a Scorpio Venus, by the way makes me go head over heels real quick. And if the wrong thing is said to me, I have a tendency to tell men to find a short pier and take a long walk. But that's just me. A lot of that's my sag. Oh, five of swords in the reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Picking up some pieces, maybe? Or unable to pick up some pieces. Did you win the battle to lose the war? Or did you lose the battle to win the war? We'll get clarity in a minute. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Justice. Could be a Libra you're dealing with. Both air sign cards could have Libra in their chart. You could have Libra in your chart. Take it over, resonate. The signs aren't important. You feel like they're balanced. Maybe they give you balance. They're just, they're fair. What do you think of them? Page of Wands in the reverse. Not the fastest mover, are they? Could be a fire sign. Any fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It's a Sagittarius card in particular. Hmm. What do you want from them? Amen. You want them to accept the fate of a situation. See things from possibly your perspective. How do they feel about you? Empress reverse. They don't see this working out. They are not seeing this with any potential of growth at this point. They're not feeling it. What do they think of you? Eight of Cups reversed. It's a card of return. I'm definitely have to get, gonna have to get some clarity on this. What do they want from you? Queen of Cups. Huh. What's the challenge here? 
the Seven of Swords. More of those damn secrets. It's like a running theme tonight. What needs to be done? Nine of Wands. One last go around. Walls going up. Potential outcome of the situation, Five of Cups. Oh, boy. Really? Really? Really, Scorpio? Okay. Okay. Let's stop running my mouth. All right. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can we get some clarity on the cards on the table for Scorpio tonight, please, for the first half of April? Got a mixed bag here. The earth sign I have is the Empress for Taurus. A little bit of water, a little bit of fire. Got a Pisces card down here. A Libra up in the corner. This is where we figure out what happened and if it's fixable. And if it's not fixable, what you do about it. If it is fixable, what you do about it. It's your journey. Trust me, I won't fit in your shoes. I have really small feet for a woman my size. At least that's what my chiropractor tells me. Page of Cups. Yeah, I knew it. Love. Little messages of love. I'm hearing it's just words. There's no communication. Or the messages aren't getting across properly. Why is justice here? For what Scorpio feels for the other person. The Empress in the Upright. They feel like things are equal, like things are going well, like there's potential for growth. This could go somewhere. I'm actually going to clarify this Empress in the reverse next because obviously you people are not on the same page. Why is the Empress reversed here for how the other person feels about Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles. Mixed messages. They may feel like apologies are in order. Somebody needs to apologize about something. Can we get another card on that? Either there's an apology needed or the offer isn't big enough. Eight of Cups in the reverse. If you want to return, you're going to apologize. Why is the Page of Wands here for what the other person thinks of Scorpio? Sorry, what Scorpio thinks of the other person. Queen of Wands in the upright. Page in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the upright. Wow. They think you're hot shit. Sorry, you think they're hot shit. Could be vice versa. sexy, you got your shit together. They're sexy, they got their shit together. Ace of Cups, oh yeah. They want to, say, uh, you want to give them your cup. Oh yeah, you want to get something started. 
for sure. You see growth, you want to get something started, but it's just not starting. With this page of wands, it's deadlocked. It's definite feelings here. Five of swords in the upright. The way things are communicated needs to change. Possibility of things happening behind closed doors. Why is the Eight of Cups here for what the other person thinks of Scorpio? Eight of Cups reverse. Three of Pentacles reversed. And the lovers, they definitely feel the connection. They know it's there, but it's not coming together. There will be no return. One more. Nine of Wands. Till someone lays down weapons. I think there was an argument here. Somebody needs to apologize for something. Why is the hanging man here for what Scorpio wants from the other person? Scorpio, I think you just want to be accepted for how you are and you don't want to change. Three of Wands reversed, and you're not going to wait. You see growth, you see potential, you want it to happen, you have the passion, you have this beautiful cup of love, but you are not waiting around because you are what you are. That's fixed. That's fixed water. You're not going to change for anybody. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here for what the other person wants from Scorpio? Hi. Hey. Oh, where'd you go? Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Swords. Oh, wow. There's been heartbreak. They want the reunion. They want to feel loved. They're heartbroken. One more on that. Knight of Cups. They want the messages of love. They need to hear it. They need to hear it, Scorpio. You're not saying it. I don't think you feel like you need to say it. <laughs> Why is the Seven of Swords here for the challenge? Ten of Swords reversed. There's secrets. The sun ain't shining. Something painful isn't coming to an end.
the High Priestess. There's a connection. This is definitely a 5D connection. Came down here to play the game together and somebody screwed it up. Wheel of Fortune. Karmic. It's karmic. The challenge here is the secrets. In a lack of victory, six of wands, somebody is being very egotistical. Somebody just got knocked off their soapbox. Somebody needs to apologize. This is where it gets big and vice versa. And fluid. Oh. The world popped out. Half ass in the reverse. Yeah. The cycle is not done. This is not over. This needs to be resolved. Or are you just going to come back down in the next lifetime and do it all over again? If you don't resolve it in this life, you will resolve it in the next. Why is the Nine of Wands here for what needs to be done? Four of Swords in the reverse. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in the upright. That was not me, by the way. The domestic partner sleeping on the other side of the um, other side of the curtain there. Someone needs to recognize the other person's worth, Queen of Pentacles. Somebody needs to just lay weapons down and realize they have a catch. Somebody needs to stop the fighting and just chill out. Four of Pentacles. Somebody needs hold somebody's holding on to something and they need to let it go. Why is the Five of Cups here the potential outcome? Thank you. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Four of Wands popped out. One more on that. Thank you. Justice in the reverse. Hmm. This is now resolved. Will be sadness and imbalance. I don't see this nine of swords in the reverse as coming out of a state of being bat crap bonkers. I see this as it getting worse. Like you're gonna be consumed by this. This this is an eleven eleven connection. Soulmate twin flame, if you choose to believe in that, this is what this is. Y'all, this has been lifetime after lifetime. And somebody keeps screwing it up. You need to lay your weapons down and let things go. And acknowledge the other person's worth. You need to apologize. If you screwed up, just say you screwed up. Swallow that little lump of pride. And just apologize. Sometimes that's all it takes. Even if the relationship ends, at least there's closure. So you didn't totally screw it up at that point. All right, what do we got? 
the Hereford and the Four of Swords reversed. This This is definitely a soulmate connection. This is like This has the potential to be a blessed union. One person obviously wants it, and the other person doesn't want it. Well, they're not saying they want it. I mean, deep down they want it. But not until that apology comes. Not until what needs to be said is said. Somebody needs to chill out and swallow the pride and let this happen. Or don't, you know. It's not my journey. Okay, Scorpio. My neighbors, my friends, bless you. Take it easy. I'm going to check out for the night. I'm getting pretty tired. Uh, I'll probably be back on in the morning uploading the rest of the cycle. So, thanks for stopping by. I wholeheartedly appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel so compelled. I don't twist anybody's arm. But, you know, if you want to see more from me, you got to hit the notification bell. So, if you're interested in a personal reading, I do do that. And I'm wide open at this point. I haven't checked my email in a couple of days. I've been kind of lax on that. So, anybody who's been waiting for me to respond, I apologize. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Definitely for Scorpio for their end of April reading. And either Thursday night or Friday morning, I will be uploading the... Um, weekend top and bottom. Just a little sneak peek on what might come of your weekend. So, thanks for coming by. Much love. Namaste. Be blessed. Catch you later.